tonight. It is great to be here with you all. Who is uh, ready to put Donald Trump back in the White House? All right. And who, who's ready to beat Bob Casey and send Chuck Schumer packing? <laughs> I'm ready. We got to get these guys out of there. They're killing us, right? You know, I love, I love looking out of this crowd in Western Pennsylvania. Western Pennsylvania is everything that's great about America. You will not find, you will not find harder working people. You will not find more God-fearing people. You will not find more America-loving people than right here in Western Pennsylvania. Right here. It's as good as it gets right here. You know, I've been, I've been coming to Indiana County since I was a baby. My dad was born in Marion Center. My pop-up... <laughs> my pop-up had a drugstore in Plumville. My great-grandfather was a harness maker in Marion Center. My dad went to IUP. And I was born in Washington County. And, and my mom was born in Punxsutawney. <laughs> and you know, Punxsutawney reminds me of my opponent, Punxsutawney Bob. We only see him once every six years, right? He pops his head up, he starts to act like he's been doing, he hasn't been doing anything. And the thing uh, that I love about America is that it gives us all the opportunity in the world. I grew up in Bloomsburg. I played football, I wrestled, my folks had a farm, I baled hay, I trimmed Christmas trees, I went to West Point, I served in the 82nd Airborne Division. I was a little older than my friend Sean Parnell, but he served a great service too, and I wrestled. I played football, I wrestled in college, and I went on and I ran a business, came back to Pennsylvania, helped create jobs. I have lived the American dream, and that American dream is slipping away. It's not going to be here for our kids. We're losing it. We're losing that opportunity for our kids. This election is the most important election of your lifetimes, I promise you. This is the one where we've got to get out there. We've got to turn the tide. Our economy is not working for working families. Sky-high prices, fuel prices, rent, food prices. It's out of control. You can't get a mortgage, can't fix a new, your pickup truck. It is out of control. The wide open border. 10 million illegal immigrants have come into our con uh, country. 4,000 fentanyl deaths last year, 4,000. All to the wide open borders of Biden, Harris, and Bob Casey, he's voted 99% of the time, 99% of the time. It's a war on fossil fuels that's destroying our country, destroying our economy. It's a weakness that's making our adversaries challenge us every day. We've got to turn things around or we're going to wake up and we're not going to recognize the country we have in front of us. And that's why this is the most important election of our lifetimes. And we're counting on you. We are counting on you. This is a choice. It's a choice between strength and weakness. It's a choice between common sense policies of President Trump and a Senate majority and the extreme liberal policies of Kamala Harris and Bob Casey who will vote with her every step of the way. It's common sense to get our economy back on track and create opportunity for everybody and stop spending more than we can afford. It's common sense to unlock our energy, that beautiful, clean, natural gas in Pennsylvania to fuel not only Pennsylvania, but the world. It's common sense. It's common sense to secure our border, stop the flow of fentanyl, declare these, uh, these uh, cartels a terrorist organization, and go across the border and kick the hell out of them. That's common sense. Right, that's common sense, that's what that is. 
It is common sense to rebuild our military to be a lethal war fighting machine because only, only can we have peace when we have strength and the strength in the White House and the willingness to use that military sparingly to protect America's interests. That's what we need. This is an election between strength and weaknesses and weakness, uh, an election between common sense and a radical liberal agenda, and it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, but we're gonna win this election with all of your help. It depends on you. You gotta get out there, tell your friends, get out to vote, independents, conservatives, people that don't vote all the time. We need every single vote to win. And I wanna tell you, as a former wrestler, I wasn't the best wrestler, but I always knew that if I could get into the third period within a point or two, I was gonna win. And the reason I was gonna win is the reason we're gonna win. Because in the third period, it's not about wrestling. It's about up here. It's about mental toughness. It's about perseverance. It's about resilience. It's about fighting every minute, every day, every hour.